G'day and welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and Glen Lethan Farm. Yes, we're back on Cavalier Roy's latest map and we're going to get cracking. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, leave an emoji, all that sort of stuff. Um, okay, let's get started. However, before we get started, while we're having this wonderful view over the farm, uh, there has been an update to Glen Lethan already, uh, change 1.1.0.0. Um, it does require a new game safe. So what we did is we've reset everything back to where it was. We are on day one, effectively, as far as the game's concerned. However, we've got all the equipment back. We had the same level of cash. We've harvested the two wheat fields. The, the straw and the wheat is in the silo. And we're all good to go again. Okay? So that's where we're at at the moment. So if you see things a little bit different, that's part of the reason. All right. But what are the changes for the map? Uh, he fixed the shed on the southwest farm so you can sell it. Uh, fix the chicken pens and sheds on the northeast farm so they can be sold. Uh, move the horse pen slightly further, but we don't worry about the horses, so don't have to talk about that. Reduced animal feed on all barns, still maize plus compatible, but significantly lower capacities. The NPC XML file now read from the base game, and the Southwest Karma 16 now is in the correct location. Okay, so none of it really affected us too much. However, um, it was enough that we needed to... Um, to, to reset the game so and we're early enough into it it wasn't that much of a problem normally like say for instance on Riverview we were so far down the track when one of the changes came through that would have been nice to use um, we just kept on playing with the version we had because we didn't want to have to go through the heartache of trying to get it working again anyway that's where we're at, at the moment so what we've got to do today well today we're going to start mowing grass now a bit of a recap uh, this is our farm in here so this is the map um, it's a nice big map, plenty of areas, and it's a lovely drive and lots of hills and dales and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, back to it, Duck. Right, so this is our farm here. These are the fields we've got, these three through here, 31, 32, 25, 26. Now, we've already harvested the two wheat fields, 33 and 34, like I said before. Uh, what we've now got to do is we've got to mow and harvest our grass. And as you can see, that's these fields through here. Um, so we've got those, so we're going to harvest those, and field 30, which is our cornfield, um, isn't ready for harvest as yet. So that's not going to be ready for uh, till October, so that's okay. All right, but what we're going to do now is we're going to get into that. I am also going to look at um, prepping the other two fields as well. We've got to set those up as well and, um, and get them going. But what I wanted to start doing was get our hay done, because um, I do want to get some animals going as soon as we possibly can as well. Um, so let's get into it. Right, so we come back here to the main farm. I'm going to stop my sprinting. Um, the good thing is too, by the way, player speed now works. There was one of the other mods I had, I can't remember which one it was, that actually its update corrupted and caused the issue with player speed. But that's since been updated and it now works, so that's all good. All right, so here we are. This is what we've got here. Now, I've got four tractors. Four tractors should be enough, shouldn't it? You know what, I'm, I'm always greedy. I am going to have a look at the, now. It's a new, it's a new save, like I said. So, and it's a new map, so everything's new. So I don't know what's going to be available in here for us to buy. So let's have a look. Oh, that's tempting. You know how I love my class. Um, all right, whatever. Oh, Voltra. So we've got a, either a 271 horsepower Voltra or a 205 horsepower class we could choose from. Um, other than that, there's not a lot there that we'd buy. You know, I, I, I do, I do like the look of that. 92,000, is that 48% off? Is it is it worthwhile buying it? Um, what's the biggest engine? 30,000, so that becomes 127,000. Um, so I don't think so. Panorama window. Uh, yeah, I, you know what? I, th I think we might. I think we might actually buy this, you know? Uh, 127, front load attacher, no. Design two, yeah, take design two. Uh, the main color, I'm gonna go my preferred color of late, which is the Borkman. Um, that doesn't look that good on that, does it? All right, let's, uh, let's let's see. No, 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 yuck, yuck, yuck. Well, we could always go a classy. We could always go a class, couldn't we? Uh, look, it looks, it looks like a class, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, all right, I'm not going to worry about the license plate. Um, 
130,000. That's not too bad for 271 horsepower. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's buy. Okay, cool. And let's go. Here he is at the store. Right, let's go grab him and bring him home. All right, we are we are going to go a little bit easy with um, with our purchases, but um, we did have a bit of money there, and um, now we've got eighty six thousand. But uh, yeah, I, I think that's that's quite a good purchase. Forty eight percent off. Um, I'm I'm happy enough with that deal. Cut that car off. All right, there we go. Have at it. Look at these lovely meadows. Look at it. Beautiful. All right. Now, what we're going to do is, as I said to you before, we've got all the implements in, in the first episode. We've got all the implements where we can actually run Follow Me and get everything done in one go. So, for instance, we can mow, we can tether, we can windrow, and then collect all in Follow Me. And I'm not going to quite do that, but we will certainly do something like that for the first run or two um, in relation to at least... Um, the mowing and the tethering um, but uh, yeah we'll, we'll go from there All right, so we want this guy to come up here I'm going to do the two top fields first the bigger fields All right, so I'm going to get that All right off we go the wannabe class All right so we go over here this is the field here. This is our first one we're going to start on. All right, so I can unfold all that. While he's unfolding, I'm going to go grab my Kubota. Where's the Kubota? There it is. All right. We haven't used much of the Kubota um, in other series since the Kubota pack, Kubota pack was released. Um, it's certainly a smaller tractor brand we see a lot of here in Australia. Not necessarily on farms that I've noticed, but certainly for doing other things like some industrial areas and um, stuff like that. But I um, see a few of them at um, supermarkets and that, it's trolley collecting um, vehicles, so towing the, getting the trolleys from uh, the shopping centres. But um, anyway. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to unfold him. All right. Turn him on. We're gonna put him on follow me. There we go. Alright, let's go and get some grass work done. There we go. And away we go. Alright. Let's go on there. Now, we have just had the latest patch from Giants, too. What's going on? Just wondering what was going on there for a minute. But anyway, um, yeah, we have had the latest patch from Giants. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, look, I'm not going to comment too much on that. Um, they, we've got this silly horse man or whatever they added to it, but anyway. Um, they have also released the details of the next uh, update, which is, what was it, the premium pack or whatever? I can't remember what they called it now. Um, three new crops, all that sort of stuff that's been announced. So we, we might talk about that in another episode um, when I go and digest that a little bit more um, and, and look at that. But, um, yeah. Look, not overly enthused, although it will be nice to have some nice crops, finally. Thanks, Giants. Um, what was it? Carrot, red beet and something else um, are the three new crops. I think I've already mentioned about the carrots, like harvesting the carrots, one, one row of carrots at a time is going to be so laboriously slow. Anyway. All right, so he's following along. I, I want to make sure that we don't, um, we don't leave him too far behind that he loses track. Um, but basically, he, he should be able to follow me. The other way of doing this is obviously a course play course. Um, which would make it a lot easier um, but we're not going to do that for the moment we're just going to continue uh, this way but so tending the the grass is, is automatically get, make turning it into hay so that makes it a lot easier for us we don't have to worry about putting it in a drying um, silo or anything else like that so we're just going to mow 
mow the grass, turn it into hay, and then we'll store it ready for use for our animals. And having so many grass fields uh, at the outset, um, we're in a good position to really sort of maximize um, the amount of uh, grass or hay we have. Um, and then at some point later on, once we find we've got more than enough grass or whatever else, then we can transition to um, to converting these fields over to, to other arable crops or, or something like that. It's interesting, I, I didn't, previously I haven't had this problem going up this hill with any of the tractors and implements, the mowers, mowers or anything else. Um, so I don't know what's going on. It's um, something a bit unique. Anyway. Hopefully it's not something that came with the map change, but um, it just seems like that little section down there for whatever reason. But we're gonna we're gonna go across the slope. We're not gonna continue going around. We're just gonna do the two headers, then we're gonna go um, across the slope. Oh, it makes it a bit easier for the tractors and the implements then. It just seems to be getting like stuck. Um, I don't know if that, that's the case, but it's just coming up that slope, so I don't know. I don't know. This tractor's got more than enough horsepower for the mower deck, so it shouldn't be an issue, really. left behind we will tidy that up where is he full of the accelerator just letting gravity take us down at the moment and we're not very well lined up are we geez duck all right Come in here. I'm going to do my 720 turn. Right on 720 turn. What am I saying? It's um 270. Is that right? Yeah, 270 turn. <clears throat> then continue on. All right. He's he's. He is travelling reasonably close now, so that's okay. Uh, he's doing what? Well, he's in turn, so we can't tell, but um, I'm averaging 20 k's. I'll uh, see what his average speed is going to be, and we can adjust our speed to reflect and be the same. Or maybe just a little bit slower, so he's got a chance to keep keep in range with us. He's doing about 15 k, so I'm going to put uh, cruise control. I'm going to lower that down to 15. I'm going to see how that goes. We've got... See, it just seems to want to... I don't know. It is very steep, though. I mean, look. Look at the, look at the incline, so... It's obviously not my pedals that are causing it because it's happening while it's on cruise control, so... That was another thought I had. Maybe it's just a USB fault or something like that was causing... Um, a connection issue is causing a bit, a bit of an issue there, but... It's obviously not the case. Now, the other thing is too, you may see a bit of that stuttering. Um, that's not so much anything else other than the fact of the new patch. We haven't been and driven around and cased in the entire map or anything else like that. So we may get some some pauses like that and some erratic behavior. Um, and I would like to blame Giants generally for that, but it's not, it's just a rendering uh, of your cache. Or cache of your rendering more, more particularly correctly. Right. All right, there we go. So we've done all the headers. Now we're just going to do rinse and repeat runs and uh, get it all done. All right, we need to put our time back up. Haven't done that yet. There we go. All right, I'm gonna make sure we've got now, separation here, right? Because otherwise we will collide. It'll be close. There we go. Perfect. Just need to make sure we judge that 
on all the turns from here on in and try and get my alignment a little bit better. There we go. So the next job is obviously windrowing and then uh, collecting. For this field at least. But we hit, that's okay. Alright, and rinse repeat. Now what I could do here is I could actually run it with um, with AI, and we might do that actually. I might go down the bottom and get this guy to start doing it um, with AI, and then we'll go get one of the other tractors and we'll start um, windrowing behind. Oh, too far that time. Uh, far too far. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right, we'll go down the bottom. See if we can get him to do do this properly. There should be a decent amount of grass from these fields. I expect nothing less, but it will be okay. All right. Right, off he goes, and uh, hopefully what we'll do actually, we'll, we'll give him a little bit more speed to pull away, just so we get this alignment so we don't get him too close in the turns. All right, that should be okay. All right, I'm going to grab, uh, do I want the Fent? No, I might grab the Massey. All right, we'll go and grab the, uh, the Windrower, and we'll start Windrowing. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to do, wasn't it? I did want to replace my windrower. Oh, well, too late now. Um, I spent on a tractor. I want to get one of the um, the new ones out of the hay and forage pack. But they're a little bit expensive. 120 grand. So this will suffice us for now. Oh, there we go, he's turned all right. Now, I just hope that he also doesn't bugger this up. As we're going along, I don't want him to go and cut and bloody bugger it all up with the tedders. So we'll have to see how things go with that. Yes, there wasn't a problem coming out there with that, so I think it was just the mower decks and just getting stuck a little bit on that, that incline. Anyway, all right, so the grass harvest is well and truly underway now. So ideally, like I said, we could we could run this directly behind the, the tether as well, and then also the loading wagon behind that. But um, we might do that in future uh, fields. But for this one at the moment, we're just going to let that run as it is and just see how that all pans out. I'll ask Windrower 13 kilometers an hour, but that's that's what it is. So remembering with this version of the game, this uh, well, this series I should say, we're doing um, the no mods uh, play. So um, with the exception of the one mod, which we've spoken about before, being the auto load trailers and truck. Um, everything else is either vanilla mods, um, as in from the from uh, giants. Or alternatively, it is um, the DLC packs or whatever else. So he's going to go that way. Okay. That's better. He's catching up the windrower. The tether, I mean. See how that goes. That could be problematic yet. Um, yeah, so uh, the only only mods we're using other than that are quality of life mods. So things like follow me, course play, easy development mod, um, and things like that. Are they colliding? 
Seriously? You're not supposed to be that close. Are you? Why have you gotten that close? No, damn it, I've stuffed it up. Right, let's try that again. Okay, I'm going to set him back up again and go again. Now, I wonder if he'll, re I don't think he'll reach from here if I try and do the follow me, but we will try. So I hadn't engaged the tether before I uh, put the follow me on. Something like that. No, I'm going to do it. So I need to come a bit closer. I'm going to put a bit more distance behind them. Up 70 meters and see how that goes. All right, we have at it. I'm going to run back over here and continue off with the uh, windrow and see what mess we make now. See how he goes. What's he waiting for? He's lining up. Where are you going? Mm, that could be problematic. Right, maybe this isn't going to work as I, as it had planned, and experimented with previously. I'm doing weirdo stuff. So it probably should be okay now because they've got a, a decent gap. So I um, probably had them just a little bit too close. Yeah, keeping the 70 meters behind while the while the mower was doing the turn. Um, now he's blocked again. Dag nabbit. Not working as I planned. All right, that's okay. We will continue to uh, to sort this out. I think our, our next best bet is just going to be running course by courses. Um, and we'll do that for the, for the following field and, uh, and manage it that way. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop there. Um, yeah, okay. What we'll do, we'll come in here. No, 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 no,
There we go. Alright, we'll turn into him. Don't lose track. You know where he is. Give him a bit more space. See how that goes. That should almost be a full run. We'll probably still catch themselves up, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. What I'm going to do is if this is going to continue like it is, uh, uh, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to do this manually. I've already put the, um, the windrow on right hand, so I'm just going to let him continue off and do what he's doing. We're going to do this manually and um, that will fix any of those issues there. And then we should be okay. All right. Well, I hope you've um you've all checked out Cavalier Roy's Glen Lethan map. It is available on the in-game mod hub. Uh, it is another great map uh, from Roy, and uh, we're really enjoying it. And I'm, I'm reckon we're going to get a longer amount of gameplay from this map. Um, so uh, I hope you hope you enjoy it, and I hope you're enjoying the series, as our windrowers just decided to park it in the shed as well. Nothing's going right today, so I think it's just I'm going to write it off as a bad day. <laughs> what we'll do is um, we'll come back in the next episode. We'll shift to the next field. And, uh, and we'll see how things go from there. But as you can see, um, I'm catching up to the AI very, very quickly. So, um, I'm gonna move on out of the way. I'm gonna let him continue off and get the last of the mowing done. And we're gonna go down and fix up the windrower and we'll get that going again. I can't even get myself in the proper position. That's better. All right. See how he goes down. We hadn't done the full second header for the um, wind rolling either, which is probably not going to help him at all. Anyway, off we go, and uh, and this is going to bring us to the end of the episode. So uh, I apologise for our little issues we've had here and there with uh, our hired hands and that not doing the right thing for us, but that is what it is. But uh, it's all part of the the joy and the experience, isn't it? Um, we oh, that was just a bit of grass left over, seemingly. Um, we'll fix that up by doing that. <laughs> We'll, we'll re-windrow it. It's okay. Um, yeah, but I hope you've uh, enjoyed the episode. Um, we're going to come back. We've got a lot of grass work to do. 
um, but we'll get we'll get this field finished off and we'll commence on the next field even if we start uh, we might get the mowing of one field done and then uh, do fields individually even with hired hands or course play but uh, we'll see how things develop from there but anyway like I said I hope you enjoyed the uh, the episode and I hope you're enjoying the series um, don't forget to press that like button if you want to leave it a like appreciate it, leave it a comment and if you want to leave a comment leave an emoji um, because all of the above are free and they help the channel out immensely uh, we are on the road to 5,000 subs we've reached past the 4800 sub mark now um, so less than 200 to go and if you're not already subscribed to the channel we'd love to have you join us um, so please consider subscribing and also if you do subscribe make sure you press the alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel right where are you going you stop there aren't you right Move him out of the way. But yes, so so please consider helping out the channel in that regard. Um, don't forget to come and join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. The details are down below in the description. And apart from anything else, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Back here at Ducks All Gaming and Glen Lathan Farm. See you later. Bye.